Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Full front. Burrow, incomplete. Jamar Chase couldn't grab it. On under pressure, down he goes. Devin White near the 10 yard line. Under pressure, Brosette to the sideline. Too tall for Terrace Marshall. Two straight drives. LSU gets nine yards on first down, but two straight three and outs. Fake to Williams, and it's Davis in stride, and he's past the 40-yard line. On the 10th play of the drive, Williams, look at that lateral move, touchdown! Burrow keeps, wide open space, touchdown! A little miscommunication there, but it doesn't slow down Williams. Another first down run for the junior from Houston, up near the 45 yard line for 20 more. Third and eight, Mon wide open to Osman. First down, Aggies. 13 yards for the sophomore from Houston. Fake to Williams, and Mon takes off. He can run too. He gets the edge, stays in bounds inside the 20. Mon Sternberger touchdown. Burrow under center play action, old school football. Morrow first down catch past the 35 yard line that Burrow has found so far. 13 yard reception into traffic somehow. Chase made that catch. Bernard Fournette, who was in the game on the first play, in now as a receiver, and he's wide open inside the 30, and he's inside the red zone to the 19. Once they pierce the 20. Now outside of that after the penalty. And outside the 30 after Dalen Mack gets the sack. Incomplete. And they're saying this is a live ball. Miles Jones initially ruled a touchdown. Ended receiver again. This is twice now. And that ball's clearly on the ground. But twice now with Chip. Coach O breathes a sigh After of relief. After review the forward pass contact to the ground, therefore it is an incomplete pass. A long kick. a and had a block this year, but they're backing off. And he hits the left upright, no good. Where size matters, that's a that's serious bragging rights. It's Williams again, and he's tripped up past the 40-yard line to the studio. And on a third and eight, Aggies pick up the blitz, and Sternberger is running for daylight inside the 20-yard line. Terrific scoring touchdowns in this position tonight. But Mon will be stopped shy running into Devin White there, fourth down. Leighton Mann, the punter, the kickoff specialist, and the holder with a perfect one there. And Small sneaks it in. And the lead is 10. AM so far has been content to rush four. Do it again. And Burrow goes down as he's dragged down by Landis Durham. It's fourth down. Cards missed from 49 last time. Redemption here, and it's a one-score game at the half. He 
avoids the Delpit rush once. He almost ran him down again, incomplete to Osmond. Per quarter with two strong runs. Nine yards and then seven more, and now Burrow back to the air, and it's Jefferson getting loose. He's at midfield. Burrow escapes inside the 25, first down Tigers. But in the red zone, easier for a defense to collapse. One-on-one, -on -one, end zone, caught, Jefferson! And this one's incomplete to Davis, who was covered up. We had to wait for Davis to come open late. Catch made, and it's dropped! Dropped by Giles, and it's picked up by Buddy Johnson. Fair catch made by Giles, but he muffs it. He made the official run if you get it on the perimeter. It's Williams instead. Touchdown! And bulldozed is Burrow by Debbie Renfro. The three down linemen in the game. One of them dropping back, but a couple dropping Burrow. Tyree Johnson gets home for the third sack. Here in the third quarter. Mine won't ever get a chance at this one. Down he goes, Richard Lawrence. The first to it. College football. I asked him, how'd you get so good? Ah, I just practice. And Brosette takes off as he gets near the 35-yard line. Man is still making tackles, though. The guard missed a chance for a tackle for loss. Burrow cannot escape as Dalen Mack just holds on to Burrow's leg for what seemed like an eternity. Burrow steps up. And now he's down. Otaro Alaka. And a third and two. Mon looks to Gillespie. And the 12th man is past the 45 into LSU territory. Georgia playing its best football of the season. Meanwhile, Kellen Mon now two straight completions. But this one is a loss and a fumble. It's stripped away. Streaking the other way is Michael Divinity. Touchdown, LSU. Three guesses who rips the ball out. He had to avoid a tackle right away. Greedy Williams came up, and it was Devin White who got out there, and he's got his... You see, he's got his left hand that was on that ball. Third and 16 with a quarterback who's struggling. Instead, they just go to the ground with Williams. And he'll pick up a few to give Braden Mann a little bit more room. To tie this game up. Well, Mond only has two second half completions. Burrow seven for eight. And Lenard Fournette turns on the Jets, breaks tackles as an inside the 35. Defense was gassed. Fake to Brosette. Moreau. Touchdown. Bulldozing his way to give the LSU Tigers the lead. Because of that, having to throw off platform. On a third and five, Mond has no place to go, and down he goes as Glenn Logan that you just referenced with that awesome hairdo that took Braden Fajoko's spot when he went down. Boy. Burrow wrapped up by Kiki and company. Well, he went back. Into the sideline. This catch made by Davis, who reaches out for the first down. Come on, with time to Davis again, and another first down. Up near the 47. Clock stopped momentarily. Last chance on a fourth down for the Aggies. Mon steps up, 
Catch made at the 41-yard line by Davis. That's a first down. Ten seconds. Mond, catch inside the 20 by Rodgers. And now A&M has a realistic shot after a 23-yard completion. But the clock will start as they move it. And do they get it off? Uh, at least initially it says all zeros. We'll see if Matt Austin changes that. It's awfully close. That's bang, bang if there ever was one. One second on the clock. Who set the game clock to one second? The second down. Clock will start on the snap. Mon in zone. Caught! Courtney Davis! Sends us to overtime. There is a flag down. It Burrow, under pressure, sacked at the 32. Alaka got him. Line drive right through. No announcement made and we play on and Travion Williams Inside the 15-yard line. Mon. Nobody home. He's throwing it towards Courtney Davis and Kendrick Rock. From 24 yards. How about that LSU goal line stand? And we play on to a second overtime. Williams. Finds hole inside the 15, inside the 10, first and goal. Now it's Mon with Williams blocking in front. Touchdown. Run this play quickly. Brosset stretches to the goal line. Touchdown. And it was running around to get set still. Donovan Wilson able to slip out. So as you see the overtime rules, the things that change now is at the bottom of the screen. You must go for two, beginning with this third overtime. Burrow, end zone, caught! D. Anderson! A&M brought corner pressure from the opposite side, the left side of the formation. You see Renfro doesn't get home. Miles Jones, who was able to break up a would-be touchdown catch earlier, had a chance that time. D. Anderson. Burrow rolls out. Got it. Jefferson. of time but nothing to find jump ball to the end zone Rodgers I think made that catch and there's a flag wow the P.I. all over how does he make this catch but does I don't think that ball ever made contact to extend the game On. Got it! It's Rodgers again! The won the game. On a third and goal. This time Mon extending the play over the head of Sternberger, covered up by Delpit. Fourth down. And the 21 yarder is straight through. So LSU can now win it with a touchdown in the fourth overtime. 
touchdown here puts it away for the Tigers. Fake to Fournette. Burrow to Moreau inside the 10, and he holds on to the ball as Pryor tries to pry it loose. First and goal. Trey and him. Burrow takes off. Down at the three. Landis Durham on the tackle. 52 to 52. And we're headed to a fifth overtime. Let's play here as we get ready for the fifth overtime. And Burrow finds Torrey Carter for his first catch of the game in the fifth overtime. Elair has been in the game. Here he is. Looks like he's going to throw. Carter, touchdown. Why not? Well, if Burrow's going to be your runner, then Edwards Elair naturally should be your passer. <laughs> and Torrey Carter should be the receiver, who we just mentioned gets almost no targets. Oscar Morrow all the way to the bottom of the screen. And a miscommunication with Jefferson. So the lead is six. Facing the rush, steps up and takes off. Inside the five to the four. Mun into traffic incomplete. Six players down there, two for the Aggies. It hit Kendrick Rogers, fourth down. Mond, in zone, touchdown, Rodgers again. Mond with all kinds of time, and it's incomplete. He wanted Jamon Osbon, but Greedy Williams was all over him, and we go to a sixth overtime at Kyle Field in College Station. This has turned into the game of the week on Rivalry Weekend, and Mon has Sternberger! Touchdown! Here in the overtimes. Mon, Rodgers again, why not? Burrow. Jefferson makes the grab inside the five, first and goal. Deuce over the football quickly. And Burrow keeps it himself. Touchdown to LSU. Now it's the two point conversion to try to keep the game going. Burrow got it. D. Anderson says he's not ready to go home. Down score and catch. Burrow running all night into the end zone. Touchdown. This one deflected. And even though it's caught, it's short of the goal line as D. Anderson makes the catch. So the Aggies can tie it if they score a touchdown, but win it with a two point conversion. CC is the game of the year period. Travion Williams still running hard. Down near the 12 on his 35th carry. Mon strike to Davis. Touchdown. Well, Courtney Davis. I guess he felt like he was getting overlooked. Rogers getting all the attention. So why not catch another touchdown? It was LSU only committing three to rush here, it looks like. And they do. Mon Rogers fighting for the ball. Pass interference on Greedy Williams. 
from outside the five. Mon looking that way. Got it! It's Rodgers! The Aggies win the game of the year in the Southeastern Conference. Texas A&M ends a seven-game losing streak to LSU. Jimbo Fisher has his statement victory as the head coach of the Aggies, and the rivalry is on. Here he is.